endurance test for many. As people headed home this afternoon, ahead of the 17-day lockdown, there was little to look forward to. The circuit breaker falling across Halloween, bonfire night and half term, just as the clocks go back. In supermarkets tonight, shelves were being cleared of non-essential items. Wales' is first minister defending the late publication of exactly what was and wasn't allowed to be sold. These are decisions being made under extreme conditions, being made very quickly, but we're doing our very best to make sure that everybody has all the information they need. In Pontypridd, the hair art company was booked solid as customers rushed to get in before the 6pm deadline. Um, I totally understand the reasons behind it, um, but it's just such a difficult time at the moment for, for businesses. Communities already hard hit by this crisis are now facing another grim test. They've struggled to cope uh, the social distancing, your hairdressers, your opticians, um, the shops, and now they're going back into it for another two weeks. Um, they really, really are going to struggle very, very hard. And unfortunately, I think we're going to see a lot of people um, losing their jobs. For attractions like Plantasia Zoo in Swansea, this sudden enforced closure is a disaster. Next week, half term, is actually our busiest week of the year. Uh, for lots of attractions, it's the same, and that income actually takes you through the next couple of months. Tonight, non-essential shops like this children's clothing business were facing up to another lockdown, hoping they can continue to survive through their websites. I suppose with us, you, you are able to purchase the items online, so you don't have to go to a shop. Um, it's about staying safe at the end of the day, isn't it? The toll on people's livelihoods and mental well-being of this circuit breaker will be considerable. The Welsh Government hopes, though, this short-term pain will yield a longer-term gain, bringing down the infection rate and salvaging some semblance of normality at Christmas. Working from home is the order where possible all non-essential businesses are now closed, and that includes the entire hospitality sector. Tonight, there is a, a very eerie feeling as towns and cities across Wales are closed down and an enforced hush descends in the hope that this will be enough to halt the spread of this virus. All right, Dan, in Cardiff, thank you.